Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be my July favorites. Of course, I'm going to talk about the products that I've been using and loving for the month of July. So let's get started. About a month ago, I bleached my hair. I think it was a month ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about a month ago. If you follow me on Snapchat, you guys know that my sister-in-law and I bleached my hair. We're not professionals, so we did a lot of damage. Now, my ends are basically extremely fried. That's what they are, they're fried. And they definitely are due for a cut. But for the moment, what I've been doing is just to make them look a little more shiny and not as dry and dull looking, I've been using this Garnier Slick and Shine 5-in-1 Serum. It has argan oil and it looks like this. So all I do is spray it in my hand because this is very oily, you guys. I've used this in the past and I've noticed that I use this only when I do my whole bleaching process because my hair starts looking dry. So what I do is I spray it in my hand and just basically mix my hands together so I can have some oil on this hand also and just go all around my ends like this. Now I don't spread it all over my hair just because this is very oily. And in the past I have sprayed it the first time I actually just went like that and my hair was so oily so that's a no-no then I used to just spray it from far but this sprays a lot a lot so I'm telling you one hand um one hand one spray on your hand that's all you need that's all you need so all I do is spray it in my hand and mix my hands together and then just go around my ends like this I definitely don't go up it's very oily like I said and just spray it all around and it just makes my hair look so much healthier like i said my hair is so dull looking and dry and this has definitely made a difference on my hair even though i'm still due for a cut because my ends gotta go this definitely helps them for the moment just look nice and shiny i've been going to the pool so much you guys and that's why i'm so tan but if you see me without makeup, my face is pale. Like I am so light. And that is because I protect my face so much. My whole body too. I put on sunblock every two hours. I don't joke around with the sun. The sun also ages you. So I definitely take care of my face. And this is what I use. It's the Garnier Ultra Lift Transformer Anti-Aging Skin Corrector. It has SPF 20. I used to use this back in New York, but I only used it during the summer. Now I am using it every time I go to the, to the pool. So it's basically sunblock for your face. I apply it about 15, 20 minutes just before I go to the pool and I apply it every two hours. You definitely want to reapply every two hours just like every other sunblock. But I, what I really like about this stuff is that even though it comes out looking white, just like sunblock, oh, I might have to buy a new one. Okay, like this, just like every other sunblock. But when you apply it, and you start spreading it around your face it turns it changes into color like that looks like I apply some BB cream it makes my skin just look a little bit more alive so I really like that all I do is basically fill in my brows and I apply this to my face and that's it I'm good to go to the pool or the beach I really like this stuff. If you're someone like me that doesn't like to put on the regular sunblock on your face or just spray just a regular sunblock on your face, definitely try this one right here. It does have that smell of sunblock, which sucks, but you definitely don't continue smelling it throughout the day. But other than that, it's a good product and this is all I've been using every time I go to the pool. <laughs> this month I've only been using one bronzer and it's by NYX. It's the matte bronzer. My shade is in a medium and this is how it looks like. I love the fact that it is completely matte. It doesn't have any shimmer. When you apply it, it never looks muddy. It blends so nicely. Is I think $9.99. I think I got mine at Target and it just gives you that nice sun-kissed glow. I love it. This is all I've been using and it is what I have on right now. 
Now, for my concealer, I end up mixing two of them. I end up loving the way it looked under my eyes. And it's the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. My shade is in NW25. And the Maybelline Age Rewind in Fair Light. And the way that it looked under my eyes, it reminded me of this one right here by Tarte. It's the Maracuja, I think that's how you say it, Creaseless Concealer. My shade is a medium. I only have a little bit left of this. So I use it, I guess, for certain occasions just because I don't want to waste it. But I end up mixing this too. And surprisingly, it definitely felt and looked just like this one so when i apply this one it covers really nicely under my eyes and it brightens up that area so much and when i end up mixing these two it gave me the same effect as this one the consistency also felt that way so this one right here is a little bit thick and this one in here is a little bit you know on the lighter side so when i mix them together it just made this perfect texture i'm telling you it looked just like this one it felt just like this one so yeah i just wanted to mention this too because it surprised me how good it looked under my eyes it is what i'm wearing right now and yeah so if you guys have these two mix them together and let me know what you think because this is fair like remember this is a very light concealer i can't use this alone i can use this alone and it covers my third circles but it doesn't brighten that area so mixing these two together it just gives me that beautiful effect and it reminds me of this one so i'm very happy right now i'm just going to be using this one and this one together just to give me that effect and i guess when they both finish i'll repurchase them this one i do have it in medium i think it's a very good concealer from the drugstore but i really like the fact that now that i have a little bit left of this one i could use it because these two give me the same effect this month i've been extremely oily and that is because it's very hot right now and to keep me just looking fresh and not oily looking i've been using this neutrogena shine control powder this is how it looks like and inside now it is translucent even though it looks white here when you apply it to your face it is translucent and I really like this stuff I basically blot my face before applying it and I don't apply it all over my face I use it with this brush right here by um, real techniques this one is the setting brush and I just blot my face pick up some product on the brush and apply it around my nose around my forehead and my chin i don't apply it all over my face because i just want the sections that i look mostly oily to look mattifying instead of oily so all i do is block my face apply this around my nose around my forehead and my chin and it just makes me look 10 times better instead of just looking oily i really like this stuff and this is what i've been using a lot this glitter right here by nyx is called the face and body glitter brilliance in 08 bronze it's so pretty you guys it's a very fine glitter also a little bit fell on my eye because i wasn't using glitter glue and i am someone that wear contacts if you wear contacts you know if something goes in your eye like a lash or just anything it hurts so much and this didn't so it's a very good product is i think 6.99 it's a very nice glitter the color is very nice like i said it fell on my eye and it didn't hurt so that's a plus but i just wanted to mention it even though i haven't used it so much i used it twice i just love the color of it and if your birthday is coming if you're someone into glitter you want to look extra you definitely should give this one a try the lashes that i'm wearing right now are by cara i think that's how you say it in the numbers 138 i love these when i use these i feel like it just makes my wing liner look even better it just gives you a nice shape on your eyes and they're only 199 i couldn't find them anywhere in here because i don't have like beauty supply stores like i like in new york there's none of those in here 
and my cousin got me a couple of pairs before we went on vacation she bought me a couple of pairs and thank god because even though they're $1.99, they're extremely cheap, and but they are very nice. I can't find them anywhere in here. They're very light. You don't feel them on your eye. They're comfortable. They're just a good pair of lashes. So I wanted to mention these because if you see them, definitely give them a try. I finally got my hands on the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Precious Petals. This highlighter, I am so glad I got my hands on it. Even though I couldn't find it anywhere in any store, any Walgreens, any Walmart, they were always sold out. I subscribed to Wet n Wild's newsletter and they informed me when the highlighter came back on stock and I got my hands on it. I purchased two of them and I purchased the other one. I haven't used the other one yet, so I'll, I can mention it because honestly I haven't used it and I don't know how it looks on me. I just purchased it because I know is of course limited edition and I just wanted to try it. But this one right here is absolutely beautiful. I'm glad I got my hands on it and I know that is limited edition. So I hope that Wet n Wild makes this highlighter permanent. I don't know what they're thinking. This is such a nice, well-made highlighter from the drugstore. It's definitely one of the best that I've tried from the drugstore. It is the highlighter also that I have on right now. It's just very, very nice. It applies to your skin nicely. It's just so nice. I love this. Another highlighter that I am obsessed with is by Essence. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter. And this is how it looks like. When I got this, I looked at it and honestly, you guys, in the pan, it doesn't even look like a highlighter. It looks like a powder. But it's such a beautiful highlighter. Look. Look how pigmented that is. All right. These two highlighters look alike. And I did not know that because I never swatched them next to each other. The Wet Wild looks a little more peachy and it has more shimmer and the Essence doesn't. But if you can't get your hands on the Wet n Wild, I definitely suggest that you try this one because it does look a lot like it. The only thing is, like I said, the Wet n Wild has too much, like, more shimmer and this one doesn't. This one just has a nice glow. Wow, I didn't know that they look like like that. But, yeah, i just been loving this one. It's so nice and pigmented. I couldn't believe how nice it was. As soon as I applied it, I was like, whoa. Like, I didn't think that it was going to be as pigmented, and it definitely was. It's beautiful. It's like $4.50, I think. I got mine at Ulta, but I know that you can only get it on the Ulta site. You cannot purchase it in stores yet because I did call a couple of stores in here, and they all said that they don't have it, so it must be just online. But I definitely suggest this highlighter is so nice, you guys. But they both equally beautiful, and I've been loving them both. And last are three lipsticks, two by Milani and one by Sephora. The first one is the Amour Metallics in Materialistic, and this one is by Milani. This is just such a nice shade. Give you guys a quick swatch. That is this one right here, Materialistic by Milani, the a more metallics. It's just so pretty. It applies very nicely on your lips. It doesn't crumble up and when the light hits it, look how nice it looks. I love this one. Also by Milani, I've been liking the Amore Matte in Gorgeous. Such a pretty shade. I think it has like the perfect name for it. And that is how that one looks like. So, so pretty. And this one by Sephora. They are the cream lip stains. And this one is in number 13. It's just a beautiful pinky mauve shade. 
and that is how that one looks like i've been using this one a lot i'm obsessed with this one because this one is just perfect for like everyday look if you do a smoky eye almost any type of look matches this lip color they all easy to apply long wearing kiss proof the only thing is that the milani ones do have a strong smell to them so if you don't like that I'm just letting you know they do have a very strong smell especially this one materialistic but they are beautiful I got past the smell when it came to the Milani's because I just love them and these three are the ones that I've been using non-stop all right you guys so that is all for my July favorites let me know down in the comments what type of video you guys want to see next also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.